hey, did y'all vote? I hope you voted. Yeah, I'm not sure if you know, there's an election today. I'm not sure if you knew that. Maybe you thought I was talking about Dancing with the Stars or something, but if you haven't voted already, make sure you get to the polls. This is very, very important. This is probably the most important election. They say that all the time. This is, this is very, very important, and every single vote counts, so please vote. And uh, make sure you read up on the issues, too. Don't try to figure out the propositions when you get there. A lot of people get there, <laughs> and the ballot gives you an argument in favor, and you read that, and you're like, those are some good arguments right there. And then you read the argument against, and you're like, that sounds good, too. And you don't know what to do, and you lean over, hey, what'd you do on Proposition 12? <laughs> What's great about our country is that anyone can run for public office, and what's not great about our country is anyone can run for public office. <laughs> I want to show you what I mean. These are some political commercials that I found. The first one was made by Jeff Wagner, who was running for mayor of Minneapolis. Over a million dollars is going to be spent to become the mayor of Minneapolis, a $100,000 a year job. I am cool with making $100,000 a year. I will not take money from the developers. I will not take money from the political angle. I will not even go to the strip clubs anymore. <laughs> Wake the f up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, who'd you vote for? I, I voted for the guy who lives in the lake. <laughs> Just walked right back into it. The next commercial was made by a Texas Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst. He claims that his opponent, Dan Patrick, changed his name from Danny Gobe to hide from his past, so he made this. I changed my name to cover my past, to cover my bankruptcy. Now the voters know my secrets. They know I had unpaid tax liens. I'll try to lie. Why should they know? Well, now they know. Danny Go, Danny Go. I can't lie to you anymore. You thought Let It Go was annoying, and wait till your kids start singing, Danny Go, Danny Go. <laughs> this last commercial is an ad for someone named Levi who was running for Congress in Colorado. So it, the, he was addressing a very ser serious issue, uh, gun violence, but he took a very strange approach to it. I'm calling on Congress to stop talking past each other and try something new. Empower schools and teachers with non-lethal self-defense tools like this can of pepper spray. Trust me, this will stop anyone in their tracks. It's incredibly painful. And now I just can't see anything. It's just unbearable. It's like lava in your eyes. I'll go to the mat for our kids and community, not Washington Insiders and Corporations. I still can barely see anything. <laughs> There's another commercial where he tases himself, which is good. Um, 